okay so this is our finished look and you can see it's all been burnt at the tips now what I tend to do is I like to give it just a hint of a tip so that when she decides to maybe have it in a bun or something then she will have something to use in pushing the hair together inside otherwise if you're not one for that you can leave it completely blunt and cut it off so that's it that's look at how beautiful that is again if you don't Okay, so what we're doing here is the Brazilian wool two strand twist. And once you know how to twist, you can twist with most things. Brazilian wool is just like one of them. Now, the reason I love this particular extension is because it works really well with natural hair so you see how hair is all natural and then we twist it all in and you barely see any fuzziness so it's all blended in The other part about it, it's, it's very smooth as well and it'll give you an easy twisting from beginning to end which is same length all the way. So when we use the other hairs you have to prepare the hair ahead of time and then you struggle to finish it off. Okay, so what I'm doing here, you could see a little bit of fuzziness here. I deliberately put that in, which I will trim up when I'm done. But otherwise, it's very smooth from beginning to end. And this is what we've done so far. So what does it look like? This is how it comes. The Brazilian wool. And it comes in so many different colors. It's very, very easy to work with. Very smooth, very soft. And you start by having them in straight lines. So like strands. Extremely light as well, very lightweight. Okay, so I get my strand of hair ready. Um, you can see how long the natural hair is. So then um, I get my strand of extension ready, the Brazilian wool. So in this particular strands I've decided to have, um, I'm going for eight strands. So they come in single strands like that. So I'm making eight of them. Then when you roll them over, they become 16. And then you insert it in as you would normally do when you're braiding hair or twist.
okay so remember how what i do to achieve this is to stagger the lens because i don't want it to be completely blunt so that's why i'm having this little bit but if you want it to be completely blunt like a a bob fill then they will all be the same length which i started with but i want it to be a bit smaller at the tips so you see how that becomes smaller and there's thicker so when you finish you take a strand the longest and you knot it off so what's going to happen when we finish braiding all of this we're going to burn the tips and take away all the fuzziness and it's going to be a smooth finish there you go Oops, don't see. okay so carrying on with our hair you can see all the amount of work we've done and then i'm going to be showing you how i burn the tips Most of the hair still working on the tips, haven't finished. Um, but I decided to show you a bit more because I had a new exciting idea I wanted to share with you. So we're nearly there. Get the cream, put it in. Make sure you have enough creams, especially at the tip of the hair, so it helps to. Because this is natural hair, you want to make sure it blends in really well at the tip of your strands. So we're still working with eight strands of hair. And this is how I <coughs> get it so that it remains the same length. If you don't do that, you're going to have them one and a half. So you'll be like one side longer and you don't want that. Okay, exciting thing is you get your hair in just like you normally would braid or twist. So for me at the point where the half, the hair becomes half, that's when I change my hand ready for twisting. So that's two, that's one side. So now what I want to show you is the other way of twisting. It's called the overhand twist. There's overhand and underhand. Just like braiding, we have over braid and under braid. So you twist your strands and you lift them over your fingers. Hold it down and you twist the other hand. But naturally for me with twisting, I must hold it, hold the base down with a clip. Because that helps to hold the base down, otherwise it twists itself with you. So you twist and go over. Twist, over. Twist, over. So your twist is going over the thumb. Now the reason I love overhand most times is because it twists, sits firmer, so they're stronger to feel. And they look prettier. When you compare both over and under, sometimes they look really nearly the same, but somebody who's used to twisting will know which one is which. Now very close to the tip of the braids, the hair, I just put a bit of cream so it helps to really push the tips in. And then I carry on my twisting. So that's overhand twisting for you.
So again, when you're burning the tips of this hair, be very careful. Um, because it gets really hot. It gets really, really hot. You can see how it practically melts. So that's why you can just burn a little and roll so it doesn't completely burn off. And I have a little container of water here. So if it's getting hot, I just dip my hand in the water and I carry it. And that's how you achieve that. Okay, so this is our finished look. And you can see it's all been burnt at the tips. Now what I tend to do is I like to give it just a hint of a tip. So that when she decides to maybe have it in a bun or something, then she will have something to use in pushing the hair together inside. Otherwise, if you're not one for that, you can leave it completely blunt and cut it off. So that's it. That's look at how beautiful that is. Again, if you've done a bob, which let's say you've got it as short as that, you could have it completely one length. And then that will give you a full bob look. But because her hair is naturally long, I didn't want to make it too short. So that's why we went this far. And giving her a little bit of tips to style the hair with. And so that's your gorgeous model, young Mega Fido. <laughs> so that's your finished look. You can twirl around a bit more. Yes. Okay, so remember the extension we used was this particular one called Brazilian wool. And then this is the other type for braiding as well, which is the regular wool. Now, both of them gives you this matte look. There's no shine in it. And this is what people who like this type of hairstyle are looking for, a matte look, no shine. They look as natural as the typical Afro hair. And most people also like to use this to create locks. So this type of wool is available with us here at World of Braiding. We'll put a link in the description box and you can always order yours. Okay, so these are the other colors we have available. That's the blonde, silver and red. We also have brown, but I'm not holding that right now. So. These are all available for order. Hope to see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. And like, subscribe, and share with your friends.